Hey guys, welcome back. So today, another tutorial. I'm going to show you how to back up your important data using a free utility called FBackup. And what FBackup is, it's a free backup utility that allows you to back up important files to another drive um, on your computer. Um, it'll let you run manual backups, like whenever you think of it and you just decide, hey, I need to back up my system, my data right now, or you can actually uh, schedule backups, which is actually what I'm going to show you today. I recommend the scheduling of the backups. Um, that way you don't ever have to just think about it. It does it automatically. So what you will need for this is you will need, of course, a computer that goes without saying, and you will need a data backup source. Uh, this could be an external hard drive that you plug in through USB to your computer, or it can be a secondary drive that is already in your computer. Um, alternatively, what you can do for backup, you can use a cloud backup such as Carbonite, Backblaze, or iDrive, something like that. You can actually also use like Google Drive and Microsoft OneDrive. Uh, but today, I'm going to show you how to use this uh, free program, FBackup, to back up your system. Okay, so the first thing that we will need to do, you'll need to open your web browser. And um, the website is as follows. I will put that down in the description below. And as you see here, it says it'll start in a few seconds. I'll walk you through the install of this too. Okay, so let's show this in the folder. Okay, it went to my desktop, so let's just go ahead and run it from desktop. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and click install um, because we're okay with this location of it being installed. Also, I'm going to go down here and uncheck this to send anonymous usage statistics. I don't like that. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and hit install now. I got to enter my pin because I'm using a secondary profile on this computer. Okay, so now it goes through the installation. And we don't want to launch and visit the site, so I'm just going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up manually. It does take a couple seconds for it to open. Oh, come on. Come on, there we go. And it's taking its own sweet time, apparently. Okay, I had to enter that again. Okay, so we're not going to, I'm going to bypass all this here, tell it not to start when the program starts. Okay, so this is pretty easy. This is the interface that you're met with here. Um, there is a free trial and then you can actually buy it. You don't need to buy it. So just close out on this. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to tell it you want to create a new backup, a new job and it's going to actually walk you through this step by step. So the destination is where do you want to save your data backup? Now for me, what I'm going to do is I've already plugged in and this is just for this video. Um, I've already plugged in just a USB thumb drive and I understand that the USB thumb drive is not um, as big as a regular hard drive. But again, this is where for demonstration purposes only. So, I'm putting it to my PC backup on the D drive, which is that thumb drive. Um, I'm actually going to browse to that because you can actually create a folder on there. But in this case, I'm not going to. I'm just going to do it in the root of that drive. Okay. So it is telling us, or we are telling it rather, where we want to do the, the backup. We're going to do it on the D drive, which I have named PC backup and no specific folder just the root of that drive. Okay, so now once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and hit next. Now it's asking what we want to back up. 
Now, most computer users know your primary drive is your C drive. That is where your operating system is held. That is where uh, your documents and stuff like that are held. And I will go ahead and show you this as well. So it's basically asking, what do you want to back up? Now, a lot of people, if they're not real familiar with this, they're going to go, well, I want to back up everything. Well, you don't, I don't really recommend that. I recommend that you back up your important data, such as images, uh, you know, your pictures, any documents, your music, any videos. And Windows is pretty good about having all those in one set location. So you see all these folders here on your primary drive. You don't need to back all these up. What you need to do is just click next to the plus sign here under users and then choose your user profile, which for me, it is Sam. And so I want to go in and I want to grab my most important stuff. Now for me, I'm going to go ahead and hit desktop because I do keep stuff on my desktop from time to time. And if my main drive crashes, I don't want to lose that. So I'm going to choose desktop. I'm going to choose documents. Um, I'm not going to do downloads, favorites, anything like that. I'm going to go down to my music, my pictures, and my videos, even though I don't think anything's in my video uh, folder on this system. So I'm just going to skip that. Um, and that is all I want to back up. And so once I choose what I want to back up, we're going to hit next. But again, I want to let you guys know and make sure you understand that you don't have to back up every folder. Just go to the users and choose your user profile for that computer. And then under that, choose what you want to back up. You can actually click all of these and that's not going to hurt anything. You know, if you have things in your contacts, if you have, you know, favorites in your favorites folder, if you want to save your downloads, feel free to back those up. But for me, this is just what I'm going to back up. Okay. So I'm going to hit next. Now, right here, I uncheck this because there is no need for it to back up empty folders. If you've got a music folder in there and no music under it, there is no reason to grab that folder. So I always uncheck backup empty folders. I don't let it do that. And then I just go to next. And now it's going to ask how you want to back this up. There's two options. My recommendation is to make a, make a mirror. And basically what that means is from that location that we chose under our user profile, it will make a mirror copy of that on our destination drive that we chose where to back that data up to. And so the same exact stuff will be on the drives on your primary drive and your secondary backup drive. And I will show you that here in just a moment. So we're going to choose make a mirror image. Well, it's not even an image. It's just a mirror backup. And then we're going to next on that. And here's your scheduler. So it's asking you how often now, like I said, you could do this manually, but I'm here to show you guys how to do a schedule on this. So instead of manually, we have the options of daily, weekly, monthly, and so on. I always do mine daily. So you guys can, if you don't do a lot with your computer and you think backing it up once a week is good, by all means, choose that. Or monthly, if you think monthly is good, choose that. Again, I do daily. Okay, and what time, what day is blank because we've already chosen daily up here. So it's asking what hour. I usually do my backups at around two in the morning. That way it's not during the day while I'm on the computer. It doesn't really slow your system down, but if you're trying to do other things and you got a backup going, it potentially could cause some slow issues. But if you've got a pretty decent uh, computer, it's probably not going to do that. Um, so right now, according to my clock down here, it's 358. I'm going to set this just so we can demonstrate. I'm going to set this for four. Let's see. Let's just do uh, 401. Zero that out. 401 p.m. So we've got about three minutes. So we're going to do next on this. Um, we're going to give this a name. I like to call it something like main backup and you can give it whatever name you want. You can give it a description. Backs, backs up main drive to other drive. And you don't even have to give it a description. 
Okay, and so then we're going to hit save. And if I go ahead and hit save here, it's going to schedule it and do it at 4.01 here in two minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and we will wait. Now once you hit save, you can see it puts that in here as one of your backup drives. You can check properties of this. You can go through and see, hey, here's the sources. This is what I'm backing up. Here's where it's going and you're good to go. And there are some other options in there too, which I never mess with, so I'm not gonna show you guys. Um, but yeah, you can go into there and look at the properties and see what your backup is doing. So we didn't make any changes. So we're gonna just go ahead and wait the one minute and then we will see that it's backing up. Now, let me show you something real quick. I'm pulling up my file menu here. And I'm gonna go down to my backup drive. You see nothing is here on my backup drive. I've got less than a minute to show you this. But you see over here in my profile, I do have things such as music. I've got music files in there. I've got things such as pictures. Got some picture files in there and documents. Okay, now once that backup kicks in, it will copy all that stuff over. Those are really just fake documents. I made them just to uh, give you this demonstration. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let this happen here in just a second and we will see how it backs up. Now, as you guys can see over here on our PC backup, our drive that it's meant to back up to, um, you've seen some data populate here. And this is basically um, showing you C drive. And that C drive is, you know, the backup we chose from C to D drive this. So let's go in and see what's in there. Okay, so then you'll go to users and your username. And now you've got data in there. It backed up our desktop, which our desktop installer was there. It grabbed all of my documents. It grabbed my music. And it grabbed the pictures that I have in there. And it looks like if we open this up, it was successful. And so just like that, it completely created a, a backup of everything you told it to back up. Now, if your primary drive that your, your operating system is on, which is this drive here, your C drive, if that crashes, well, you still have your data over here. So you did not lose any data. So it's always good, always important to have a backup. Now, of course, as you guys saw, that backup went really, really fast. It was probably less than 30 seconds. Yours will go a lot slower than that because like I said, I did not have data on this system and I just put those sample files over there to grab it. And so it was nothing for it to just uh, grab that and move it over. So yeah, guys, that is about it. Um, please run backups. It is very, very important to run backups. A lot of people don't understand that and they end up losing data and then they're mad about it and they think the computer's a piece of garbage. So backups are on you guys. The system will not automatically do that. So anyway, guys, check it out. F backup, free download, link in the description below. It is not a sponsored video. It's just a backup system that I like to use and I use on my own systems as well. That's it, guys. If you like this, give it a like. And if you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and do so, please. Have a great day.